Never fall in love with a tennis player. Love means nothing to them. Today, I'm going to recap a 2013 action crime film called Dead Man Down. The film sets into motion with our main character, Victor, conversing with his companion Darcy about the monumental shift in his life since becoming a parent. Abruptly, they are summoned via a phone call to visit the residence of their superior, Alphonse. Once there, they stumble upon a refrigerator hidden in the basement, housing the corpse of Paul, one of Alphonse's underlings, upon opening. Furthermore, they discover a note with the cryptic digits 719 and a key capable of unlocking a briefcase. Inside the briefcase, they find pictures of Alphonse, who has been on the receiving end of such menacing threats for a while. This time, he has a hunch about the potential culprits. He visits the club owned by his acquaintance Harry, although Harry denies any knowledge of the threat. However, Alphonse discerns a striking similarity between Harry's handwriting and the notes, culminating in a fatal bullet to Harry's head. Subsequently, a brutal firefight erupts between Alphonse's crew and the Jamaicans. Alphonse finds himself trapped, but Victor's gallant act of eliminating three adversaries single-handedly saves Alphonse, thereby securing his faith. One day, Victor, peering out his window, becomes aware of his neighbor Beatrice, observing him. This enigmatic young woman resides in the apartment opposite Victor's, along with her mother. Beatrice initiates contact with Victor, showing signs of interest in him. She drops a note with her phone number in his mailbox. He reaches out to her, and she suggests they become more familiar. On their inaugural date, they begin to understand each other more intimately. However, things take a turn when she persuades him to go for a drive and unveils her ulterior motive. She possesses footage of Victor committing murder and demands that he execute the inebriated motorist responsible for her disfigurement in a car crash, threatening to inform the police otherwise. Her sanity begins to falter as she incessantly insists he kill the man. In an attempt to silence her, he brandishes his gun and inadvertently fires a shot through the window before making a swift escape. Upon reaching a crossroads, she informs him he must acquiesce to her demands or kill her before exiting the vehicle. When she gets back to her home and scans a newspaper, we learn that the drunken driver was incarcerated for a mere three weeks. The following day, Victor and an old ally, Gregor, pay a visit to an arms dealer, from whom they purchase a sniper rifle. Gregor queries Victor about his prolonged association with Alphonse, assuming his ultimate aim is to assassinate him. It is then that we unveil the truth about Victor's history. He has infiltrated the crime syndicate, led by the remorseless boss, intent on seeking retribution for the murder of his wife two years prior, a tragic incident in which his daughter was also mistakenly killed. Finally, Victor heads to a deserted ship, where he provides sustenance to a man he has abducted. Victor has taken hostage the sibling of Elir, the Albanian boss involved in assisting Alphonse in the tragic obliteration of Victor's family. His strategy involves pitting the Albanians against Alphonse's crew, aiming for an easier task of wiping them out. Subsequently, Victor drops by Beatrice's place to discuss the man marked for death. He has been tailing him for a few days and intimates that he requires more time. In the interim, Beatrice's mother presents Victor with pictures of a stunning pre-accident Beatrice. In the following scene, Victor eavesdrops on a dialogue between Alphonse and his associate Lon. Lon berates Alphonse for the slaughter of Harry and his gang. Concurrently, Victor strategically positions himself with a sniper rifle atop a building, ready to assassinate Alphonse. Lon discloses that he too has received the menacing photos addressed to Alphonse, along with a mysterious note. Additionally, he reveals possession of a key and probes Alphonse for any related information. Upon comparing the notes, Alphonse deduces that Harry was not the source of threats but someone else. At the same time, Beatrice, sitting in a car, spots Victor perched on the building. Lon informs Alphonse that he is incapable of managing their shared assets due to Alphonse's precarious circumstances, posing a risk to the business. Darcy, on a mission to uncover the origin of the threats, instructs his subordinates to alert Alphonse about the impending danger. As Alphonse departs from the restaurant, Victor executes his driver and transmits a message, questioning if he has received the key. 
Promptly, Victor initiates a hasty retreat as Alphonse's men attempt to apprehend him. Once they penetrate the building, Victor skillfully wraps a rope around a goon's neck and propels him out the window. After neutralizing others, Victor attempts to escape down the street when Beatrice appears in a car to aid him. He hops in, triggering a pursuit by Alphonse's gang. A few blocks down, she pulls over and amidst the approaching men, he passionately kisses her. The car door swings open to reveal Darcy, and Victor feigns confusion, asserting his recent arrival. Darcy and his accomplices rush to inform Alphonse that the shooter managed to elude them in a taxi. Alphonse commands them to trace the taxi's route and takes his leave. Subsequently, Victor departs with Darcy, who's committed to aiding Alphonse in order to climb the ranks in the criminal world. In the ensuing scene, Alphonse uses the mysterious key to unlock a mailbox, which contains the absent pieces of a specific photograph. Upon Victor's return home, he contacts Beatrice. She drops by his place, and he questions her about tailing him. Beatrice denies the allegation but maintains that she provided assistance. As their conversation ensues, Victor narrates the story of Alphonse's heinous act of annihilating his family, kindling his thirst for revenge. When questioned about the status of her assailant's death, he responds with a negative. One evening, Victor lies in wait for the guilty party to vacate his house, paving the way for him to infiltrate the property. Concurrently, Alphonse stumbles upon a concealed microphone embedded in his phone. The following morning, Victor heads to a desolate warehouse, which serves as Alphonse's gang's base of operations. He ascends to the loft, inspecting the explosives he's positioned there, precisely when Alphonse and his crew make their entrance. Identifying an issue with the detonation remote, he descends from the loft and blends in with the others. Subsequently, Victor communicates with Gregor, who advises that he must be in proximity to the warehouse to activate the explosions, or they must transition to a different system. Victor states that he lacks the time to make such changes, accepting the risk he must take. During this time, Beatrice pays him a visit, discovering his room where all his schemes are mapped out. He admits his experience as a war veteran. On learning that he's willingly putting his life on the line for vengeance, she is distraught, developing feelings for him. In the subsequent scene, E. Lear, the Albanian gang's chief, receives a parcel containing a photograph of his captive brother. He, like Alphonse, has also been provided with pieces of Victor's family photo, which must be assembled. Later that evening, Darcy buzzes Victor's intercom, claiming to have tracked down the sniper targeting Alphonse. The pair visit the location where a cab driver reportedly took Paul prior to his murder. Finding no valuable leads, Victor informs Darcy of his need to depart. After dark, Victor ventures to the vacant warehouse, encountering Alphonse and his gang. Anticipating the threats to be originating from an insider, Alphonse devises a snare intending to expose anyone visiting the hideout to converse with him as the traitor. When Victor arrives, Alphonse threatens him, vowing to annihilate what the threatening individual holds dear. However, due to Victor previously saving his life, Alphonse is hesitant to label Victor as the traitor, taking no action. Later, Victor approaches his captive, promising freedom in return for a video confession, stating Alphonse as his captor. Victor then releases rats, intending for them to devour the hostage, but reconsiders and mercifully ends his life with a gunshot. Subsequently, he rendezvous with Beatrice, asking her to deliver the video to Elir, thus implicating Alphonse as the one who betrayed and abducted his brother. Victor then meets Darcy, who continues probing into Paul's demise. Darcy discloses that Paul had been seeking a Hungarian man's grave, yet the purpose remains unknown. Next, Victor encounters Gregor, disclosing that Darcy is on the brink of discovering the grave, and the truth is imminent. Gregor encourages him to escape while he can, aware of Victor's struggle to abandon his cause. One day, while Beatrice is taking a walk, she becomes the target of stone-throwing youngsters, causing her to tumble and sustain a head injury. When Victor pays her a visit and spots her wound, she dismisses it as a simple fall. She informs Victor that she has dispatched the tape to Elir. As she prepares to depart, he proposes another meeting, which she agrees to. Darcy contacts Victor, 
revealing that the person menacing Alphonse and abducting Elir's brother could be a Hungarian named Laszlo Karik, the man they presumed to have killed along with his family. The twist is that Victor is indeed Laszlo Karik, having adopted a new identity to evade gang suspicion. That evening, Victor sets out to fetch Beatrice for their date. He discloses his intention to finally terminate the life of the man responsible for her disfigurement. When she confesses her feelings for him, he candidly admits his lack of reciprocal love, asserting that they don't have a future together. They proceed to the bar frequented by the drunk man. And when he steps outside, Victor strangles him. Once finished, Victor escorts Beatrice back to her residence. Simultaneously, Alphonse and his crew trail Darcy to a cemetery where they find Laszlo's tomb. The following day, Elir receives a package. Alphonse reaches out to him, questioning the certainty of Laszlo's demise. Beatrice receives a message stating Victor refrained from murdering the driver to prolong their association, aware of the mental impact such a killing would have on her. Elsewhere, Victor is busy preparing explosives in the gang's warehouse, setting up a lure for the Albanians and Alphonse's arrival. Darcy arrives at Victor's home to collect him, but with no response, he forces entry by breaking down the door. Over a phone call with Victor, Beatrice confesses that she didn't mail the tape, out of fear of losing Victor to death. She suggests they abscond together. Darcy uncovers Victor's true agenda upon examining his flat. When Beatrice gets home, Darcy overpowers her. He seizes her phone, dialing Victor. Laszlo, informing him everyone is expecting him at Alphonse's. Victor proceeds to Alphonse's residence, where the Albanians are gathered. As every phone in the house starts ringing, Victor plows into the building with his vehicle, sparking a violent gunfight. Victor manages to eliminate all the henchmen in the ensuing gun battle, apart from Darcy, whom he consciously leaves alive. Victor advances towards the top floor where Beatrice is detained by Alphonse and Elir. She eludes their watchful eyes while Victor distracts them with gunfire, starting to play the tape on a computer. As Elir hears the contents of the tape, he aims his weapon at Alphonse, convinced of his betrayal. Alphonse raises his own gun in defense, demanding Elir to lower his, culminating in both firing at each other. As Victor makes his escape with Beatrice, they are confronted by Darcy wielding a gun. When questioned whether he spared Darcy due to his familial ties, Victor responds negatively, stating they have him. Darcy holsters his gun, allowing the duo to depart. Victor and Beatrice make their way back home via subway, sharing a passionate kiss. If you enjoyed this video, don't be shy to hit the like button, and if you disliked it, hit the dislike button twice, just to be sure. It would be best if you watched the whole movie. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe for more videos like this.